Well, hello everyone, Dylan of Dylan Days here with another LEGO, with a LEGO Star Wars Summer 2022 review, and this one is on uh, the Justifier, or, of course. Well, the largest mainline set of this summer wave, of course. So on the front of the box, so here we have the LEGO and Star Wars logos, and that same interesting kind of word that we've seen since the start of the year, but, but this time around with a red strip kind of border and indicating that's the Bad Batch and also some of the Bad Batch in the corner indicating that's from the show yeah and then see picture of the set flying in action of course and then all the mini figs down below and also recommended ages 9 and up and set number 75323 has 1022 pieces And then on the back of the box, you see the picture of the Justifier, but in a resting position, and also a little battle of the mini figs, and also all the features of it. And uh, <clears throat> now onto the instruction manual. And just like a lot of sets we've been seeing lately, well, with that odd cover board, which is just a picture of the set, not like the front box cover, but whatever. And also, it does have and also advertisement of how this sets are turning over to paper bags rather than plastic bags. But on the back, see add to win on the online survey. And then large add of all this these of the summer 2022 wave, of course. And then add for three of various sets of this wave, of course, including the new Republic tank set, of course. And all the pieces that come with the set. And then continues. And then the last building steps. First off, with the minifigs included. <coughs> oh, hang on. <coughs> so first off is the probably the leader of the Bad Batch, Tech, which is just the same as from last year's uh, Bad Batch. Uh, shuttle set, which did include all five members of the Bad Batch, of course. Whereas, and also the helmet piece, not at all in the accessory hole in the side, like we've seen with most uh, stormtroopers or clone troopers in this wave, but aside from that. And then next to which is Fennec Shant, which is quite the same as we've had with like the Imperial Light Cruiser and Boba Fett's Palace, of course. But the only difference is doesn't ha has a more smaller pistol and also has a little briefcase there. And then next to it is Toto 360, looking just about like he does in the show, and also just like the BD1 uh, droid or BD droids of this wave, where it's all single piece, a single piece to that. Of course, and next to which is Omega. Which first, or these next two things, which are exclusive to this set, and also all new and all new for the line, of course. But so first of which is Omega, which using the short legs since she is a child, of course, and of course holding wielding hand the handcuffs, of course. And aside from that, also the face print and torso printing done quite goodly, and also slight arm printing. Which has been showing in plenty of sets recently. Same with Fennec Shand, of course. And her face printing, kind of well suiting to her. And also the uh, hair piece, which is the Harry Potter hair piece in blonde. Oh, which, good use of that piece, of course. And last, and also the all new exclusive version of Cat Bane, 
Well, first time we've ever had this character since like 2013 or so. Yeah, 2013. But aside from that, I see the uh, little fedora hat, which a lot shorter than previous versions. And for the headpiece, which unlike with most previous versions, instead of being on a blue headpiece, it instead is on a gunmetal gray headpiece with the blue printing on it. Well, but also the uh, torso and leg printings all done well, of course, and also holding two small piston, uh, small blasters, as like Cadbury oftentimes does or usually does. And whereas for the breathing apparatus two piece, which is all new to that, as, and I think it's a good improvement over the older versions. And as for the backs of each of them, as you see how well done the breathing apparatus pieces are quite interesting for that. So this worth the improvement of Cad Bane, of course. And also so the back torso printing of each of which done quite goodly, and you can see how hollow Toto 360 quite is, but all the would have been nice if there was an additional stud on his back to attach things to him, but aside from that, still good. And also, we have double side faces for each of them. And also, with these two fixes, they do come included with additional hair pieces, also like before. with some things on it. Probably it's just a few crates which do have a few, which are all stickered with a little knob on it and also the little empire, newfound empire symbol on it. And also this little build with the Fez hat piece and Wolverine claws in gold and also one with the Nexo Knights pyramid in tan and both are on a two two by or three by three plates, so it's kind of small and simplistic, but at least, well, kind of works out, then yeah. And so now, on to the justifier itself. Like this whole people to begin with. Of which all new want to add to the Lego Star Wars library, of course. There's like all new unique shaping to it, like all triangular kind of shaping with one with a little large engine at the top and whatnot. But yeah. As, as for like the front part of this vehicle, of this ship, of which see well effective snock techniques in this kind of area. Be like a couple of plates with our mixel ball joints, just probably just used as greebling, and also those windshield pieces as other window, so which done quite well, and they but also done a quite very good job in this area. Like, although that's a large sticker, which is now there's quite a few stickers in this set, but they're all quite large ones. And whereas for this wing section. It was also quite good as knock technique going on. Like, also do get some paneling and also the lot of cheese slopes going on for that. And the ends of the wings, which are like extra flat bits to it. And also a couple of bar pieces representing other blaster bits. And also, so it does have a spring load launcher that fires like so. And also, one neat feature is that you can take this part, flip it open, and you can get the extra uh, spring load launcher missile piece on there. And you, although you can kind of see some gearing going on in it, but that's for the main feature, which I'll go over in a while. But also, good use of some of these pieces acting as like greebling and whatnot. 
and then for this other section which also done quite good we like space between the studs of course and also forgot to mention a little bit more of those odd like landing type pieces it's nice to see there but as for this back section or this top section is has plenty of jagged slopes a couple of which that are stickered and also done quite well and also nice use of those pieces is there and this middle section which is kind of hollow, hollowed out but that's for the main mechanism but which I'll go over in a bit but and also for this these couple sections which have some bits going on acting as buying repo and probably like extra wiring and stuff in it and for this back section which is part of the main feature but if you like raise it up and also while raised up it makes the Atlantic gear fold right in for it although it can still work while it's right up and also in flight mode of course but as for this engine bit of which uh done quite goodly like plenty of good snot going around it and also nice shaping to there and also have a lot of those corner pieces but this section includes a lot of illegal building techniques that uh, some people have said about and I do kind of see why like the plates fit in the studs of course but although some are, and of course it would illegal but at least it does work kind of fairly but unless if you're a mockery yeah good luck figuring out how to make it more legal and also aside from that some more of this some more uh, sloping going on and from the back side it has some of those traditional uh, dish pieces in trans blue acting as the thrust bit of it and also have some of the BB-90 head pieces but in darkish gray uh, which and well works out and also they are all resting on one of those newer cylinder pieces that last year's X-Wing set had And also for this front section to do so where you can like lift that all up and plus it's not attached to anything not attached to any studs on there so if you like flipped it upside down it would just drop right outwards so, although what I would recommend is get some sort of curved slope piece or yeah a curved slope and or just a couple of plates and place them on there so to prevent that from falling off and so now for this interior space like do you have a nice little uh, seat area to fit your cad bane minifig into and a couple of uh, cheese slopes that are the control panels of course and also a couple of clips to hold the blasters on too and he does fit quite well in there and also this little empty area that's mostly for little walking space but also a couple of crates so which holding both a lightsaber hilt and also some thermal detonators and also do get an, another extra little space which does have the a traditional pa a large panel piece but in trans red which which is definitely quite nice and useful for mocking and also it's where you can store your omega mini thing into like in the show so it, it's quite spacious enough for that and although you can kind of bit see some trans green there but at least they could have done a different color for that but at least with the roof part of which it's still well concealed so as you can see all of them quite good for me
And so now for the final verdict. Overall, I think this is which a quite good set for how it is. Even though like it our second bad batch set, of course, but also as for size of which, even though it's a little bit smaller than last year's largest uh mainline set, the Imperial Light Cruiser. So, and also costing around the same price, but at least it which still workable for that. Well and of course for both being from Disney Plus shows, of course. And whereas but also also a couple downfalls is or one downfall is the the main engine bit which has illegal snack technique going on, but at least some of you can kind of figure out how to make it more legal and but also aside from that, also playing good detailing, good storage space and also good way to store figs and whatnot. And also mini fig selection also well good, quite great like of us finally getting Omega and also Toto 360 and finally a new version of Cat Bane who we haven't seen in quite so long. You know the other two which may be kind of repeats from other sets but at least still workable but yeah. And so now if you're looking to get this set for your Clone Wars and Bad Batch collection also definitely pick this up and that and if you're looking for some unique set to add to the collection, also definitely pick this up. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.